Hey, what is going on, guys, gals, aliens, and DJ and freaks? Welcome to Dano Crypto. Man, we haven't done one of these walking videos in a while. You can see, it looks like it's about to rain. Got some awesome clouds. Always love walking around in my neighborhood. Kept a lot of trees and a lot of nature in this particular part of the area. So I really like it, but Welcome guys, uh, we're going to talk a little bit <clears throat> about the crypto movements today. If you caught me on the Moon Show with Mr. M this morning, thanks for tuning in. It's always awesome seeing you guys in there and your continued support is amazing and we really do appreciate it. So yeah, getting into the price as of now of the notification, I just got dinged on my phone. We are sitting at above $64,000 now. And now we had a nice little consolidation back into the $63,000 range, but we actually went and pumped up all the way as high as 65,000, touched it, got a little bit of resistance, and now we are starting to go and try and clear up to, I think which is going to be the next level, it's gonna be 66,000. And uh, you know, obvious level that we're gonna hit is that 66,008 possible level of some support but what's interesting is that a lot of people were thinking that the price is indeed going to be going down to that $51,000 level and with that level being a level that everyone is expecting the price to go wouldn't it be nice for Bitcoin to kind of fake everyone out again but this time to the upside and the reason why we're thinking to the upside is because we have a supply shock that is going to be coming very soon, sooner than you think. You have to think about the next eight months. We're going to see by a report done by Bybit that the supply of exchange, uh, the supply of Bitcoin and also Ethereum has been leaving exchanges over time. There's been less and less Bitcoin to go around and the same with Ethereum. So what's going to be happening is a supply crunch and what's going to happen when we have a supply crunch well the order books are not going to be able to keep up there's not going to be enough bitcoin to go around so that's going to make the price absolutely skyrocket and this is how we can see a potential new few all-time highs this year all the while people are calling for the bull market to be over because they think just because we came from the bottom of 16,000 and now we're sitting where we're at and had a double top. So we're, we're really excited to see what's coming up in the next couple of weeks, but also just in the next seven to eight months, because that's when we're going to start seeing some true movements. And then when you get into the altcoins this is where you're going to see some major major moves and all coins breaking their all-time highs during what we call the altcoin season so once we start getting into that altcoin season we are going to see projects like uh, phantom near protocol uh, the dexes i want to really hone in on the DEX tokens are going to see so much liquidity coming in whenever we start to see hype and FOMO and the market really, really moving. This is what we saw. You got to study BNB, study Binance Smart Chain and what happened in 2020, and you will understand what is going to happen with Solana and other layer ones <clears throat> like Solana. So going to be really really interesting to see how much these things can move and if so are they going to move higher than their previous all-time highs of the previous cycle in November 2021 we will see we will see but I hope you guys are getting out touching a little bit of grass getting out in nature a little bit getting some exercise but we are going to be actually going live here in about 10 minutes. So you better make it to the lives. All right, I'll see you on that live stream right here. Peace out.